Today we're talking about my Motovlog setup. What's going on guys? So today I want to give you guys piece by piece how I set up my uh, GoPro setup with my Cena to enable mode of vlogging. And I'm gonna give you all the part numbers that I use to create my videos. So this is a new setup courtesy of Speed and Strength. So they sent out a Straight Savage SS 1600 helmet to me the other day and I took the opportunity to rebuild my mode of vlog setup. Unfortunately, the microphone on my other camera did not pick up my audio. So I'm going ahead and re-recording this setup, but I'm gonna give you overlays on every part that I use and give you the settings I use, the microphones I use, how I capture my Cena and all the mounting hardware as well as battery life. I took all my parts, I put them on index cards. I'm just gonna go through them, read out the part numbers. It's good to note that my setup is kind of geared towards the Cena device to be able to capture uh, the audio that's coming in through the Cena and also my audio which is coming through my mouth. What you might have uh, ran into and what I've ran into with just running a single mic when you run in the Cena is you can either capture good audio from your voice or good audio from the Cena, or you kind of put it in between and you have a muffled uh, kind of balance between the two, which isn't very good. One thing I do ask to be able to create these videos, I rely on you guys to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this content. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the gear list. So the camera I'm using right now is the GoPro Hero 4 Silver. So my Hero 4 settings are 1080s, which is super wide. I shoot at 60 frames per second at night or 80 frames per second during the day. The reason you want to have 60 frames at night is because it's going to let more light in. So if it's darker outside, naturally, you're going to get more lighting if you shoot at 80 frames per second less light comes in darker image my field of view my fov is wide my low light is off and spot metering is off pro tune is on i have white balance set to auto color set to gopro my iso limit is at 6400 my sharp is set to medium and my ev comp is plus 0.5 so one very important send to make sure you have off is that low light especially if you're doing night rides what low light is going to do is going to slow down your shutter speed so it'll end up making everything look blurred especially at motion so just make sure that's turned off pro tune will allow you to cap that iso i recommend capping at 6400 i'd rather have a grainy image that is bright than a dark image it's not pixelated the ev comp is just going to make it a little bit more brighter so i just put that at plus five just so it's a little bit more brighter it just errors on the side of more brightness moving on to the helmet i have a speed and strength straight savage ss 1600 you can see right here it's a real clean helmet so it has that dual option visor which comes pretty much close to down so if you want to go clear during nighttime riding and then daytime or vice versa you don't have to switch out your uh your shield which is a great option let me just show you the mount so i have it mounted on the front and then you can see the black this is just gaffer tape that just keeps all the wires down and then my cena on the side and all the wires are just tucked inside i always say uh support the companies that support us speed and strength supports us so if you guys are looking for a good helmet i recommend speed and strength or good gear in general um, a lot of their stuff has uh progressed in the right direction in the last couple of years all right so that's the helmet device let's go to the battery so the batteries I use is not the GoPro battery anymore because those only last X amount of time. You constantly have to switch them off, take your GoPro out. It's just really tedious, especially if you're in the middle of a ride, you don't want to miss something. So what I use is a uh, USB battery pack, similar to what you'd use for your cell phone to charge on an airplane. So the one I used, I got from Costco. It's a Tilt, I think it's called, external USB bag. 5200, it has a charging dock, it's USB, so it comes with a two pack. After a couple months, one or two of them will go out. So. For the price that it is, it's not really, it's not a big deal. I just keep an eye on it. But those last me a full ride. So if I have one of those, that will last me at least three to four hours. So I keep two of them uh, in my backpack and just flip them out once the batteries go low. So they have an indicator on the side. So if you see it get down to one bar, two bars, uh, you can switch it out. So for that battery pack to be able to power the GoPro, you need an adapter. That adapter is called a, I think it's called Swiss Tronics. For the GoPro Hero 4, the part number is DVG. P4 USB, the Hero 3 DVG P3 USB. There's also a C version in that part number, which comes with a case. I ended up buying that and then just removing the battery pack from the case. I think it came quicker for my Amazon Prime. Again, links in the description below. So for the mounting, I'm using a configuration of different GoPro aftermarket mounts. Uh, but what I really recommend is the uh, some Sam Tree match. These names, I swear. Link in the description below. They're aluminum, so when you tighten them, you can really get a good tight on them. You don't actually strip the side of the plastic, so 
Those are nice. And then they're short thubby screws so they don't get caught on any wires because you're going to have a bunch of wires here. And then for my actual mount, I'm using a Sunsun curved extension arm mount. And then the GoPro, it's called the frame. So just the skeleton frame, that's what I'm using. Then just a curved 3M GoPro mount. For the audio, I'm using a Bauer mic connector to the GoPro. I, I, I find that to be a little bit better than the GoPro adapter. Part number XAS-MIC. And then for the internal one, this is a new part that I'm using, which I'll do a full review on, and you'll see a little bit of sample at the end. It's called the MiniMotoWorks.com Helm Mic, which are pretty cool. They flush mount to the chin part. I really like the design there, so check them out, MiniMotoWorks.com. And then the real tricky thing, uh, to be able to capture your Cena device, you've seen in previous videos, where the Cena, whoever's talking in it's muffled, or my voice is muffled. The reason was I was using one mic, putting it in my cheek piece, so it's kind of between my mouth and my ear piece, so it's kind of capturing both of us, but you're not capturing the best audio. So what I found on Amazon was something for the iPhone for doing interviews. So it's called a Monono Dual Lav Mic, and the part number is AU404. So what this is, is allows me to have one mic that goes to my earpiece, so I have one mounted right to where my Cena earpiece comes in, and then I have the helm mic right here plugged in to that. So it has like almost a splitter that you'd see like if you were sharing headphones. So I found that actually works. So it's getting audio from both mic that's up by my ear and also the mic by my chin, which is really cool. So that's it, that's my setup. I'm gonna show it to you one more time and then we're gonna go ahead and take it out on the road and I'm gonna give you an update on what's been going on at the home front. Obviously, baby photogrammer uh, just came, so here's a quick look of it. See how everything's mounted. See all the wires that are under here. This is where the adapter is, and then that's all just taped down. Inside, you can see where the, the helm mic comes in, and then there's a splitter that goes there, then obviously my Cena mic right there just running alongside of it one quick thing before we split to the ride video um, you're gonna have to just rig it inside so the more time you spend on it, the neater it's gonna be but if you get a pack of this gaffer tape you can kind of hide everything wherever you need it to be but just get the earpiece and the mic kind of close to each other uh, you'll find out it works pretty good all right guys let's go ahead and break and we'll uh, go ahead and jump on the bike and take this for a ride and test out this helm mic there we go Hey, still got it. All right, we're good. Well, it's six o'clock on a Friday night, and I got about 30 minutes to do a quick lap, and then I got to get back to diaper duty. So first off, I'm just testing out the new setup. I got the uh, new helmet, new gloves from Speed and Strength, and then I did the new mic setup. So I got the dual mics now, so hopefully it's picking up the Cena. Let's crank up DMX and see. There we go. So hopefully it's got both of us in the mic. So that'll be better for uh, picking up Lando and Wally on that. Uh, let me turn that back down. So it's been probably three weeks since I've been on the bike since uh, baby uh, photogrammer came. He came uh, two weeks ago yesterday. Uh, however, like the week leading up to it, I really didn't ride because I was fully expecting him to make a uh, an appearance at any moment, but he never did. We went all the way to induction day and went in and he was delivered on his due date, October 12th. So shout out to everybody in YouTube land and uh, the interwebs. I really appreciate all the support and all the nice words you guys uh, sent my way uh, via Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, pretty much everywhere. I got little messages here and there and it just, you know, made me smile. So I appreciate that. It's awesome having Photogrammer Junior. I'll tell you though, one thing that I kind of underestimated is uh, just how little sleep you're gonna get and how much it changes your life. So anyway, quick little ride. I just wanted to, you know, put a little video out there to Tell everybody I love you. Thank you for the support and uh, let you know how things are going. Test out the wheelies, make sure I can still do them. Nope, sure can't. <laughs> Apparently I can't. Anyway, Photogrammer Jr. is doing good. Uh, first two weeks was crazy with no sleep, but now we kind of got a routine. I would say in the next month or so, I will start going back on bigger rides. In the meantime, there's going to be a lot of garage build stuff in between feed-ins and diaper changes. I got a rear shock to put on this. I got an LED light kit that I want to do a review on. I got a sub cage coming in that uh, I want to do a review on. So a lot of stuff going to happen in the uh, coming... Ooh, push -a. Pasha, pasha, pasha. So I got a lot of uh, things that I've been kind of putting off uh, because I was doing rides, uh, which now I have plenty of opportunities and time to do it at the house since I can't really 
go for these big rides like the Halloween ride is tomorrow in Orlando sorry guys couldn't make that but I would say by the end of the year everything will kind of settle into a routine and be able to plan a little bit better anyway so everything's doing good at the home front uh, bike feels good it's been about a month since I rode it so it's nice to get back on it great weather what else is happening oh photograph my life so I spent a bunch of money and time i'm rebuilding the uh, the set to uh the studio so a lot of upgrades there for consistency and uh, photogram on live is back november 7th so make sure you guys tune in and uh i think you guys will will like what uh what we have in store we got a bunch of groms and a bunch of z photos submitted so uh if you still want to submit one you got time get it in before november 6th and november 7th we will uh we'll start the live show again so we'll kick that off every other tuesday Oh god, I'm chasing a bell. <laughs> oh, I think I'll do the oil mod too, the external one. I might do that as well. If you guys want to stay up to date day to day, just uh, follow me on Snapchat, at Photogrammer, and you'll get all those updates. Let's hit these people. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to head home, end this video, but uh, yeah, quick update. Thanks for uh, watching, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, I appreciate all the support and all the congratulations for Photogrammer Jr. It's everything we thought it would be and a lot of less sleep than what we really anticipated. But that's okay. Totally worth it. All right, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what's going on, what you guys want to see more of, the build series or little rides like this. And if you haven't done so already, you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe link. And I'll see you in the next one.